Here are the top five neighborhoods to live in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Evan Barron. I'm a realtor here in Chattanooga. So as much as I love making these videos, I love helping you guys with your real estate needs even more. So in any of the ways down below, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to help. The first neighborhood that we're gonna talk about is Lookout Mountain, Tennessee. So Lookout Mountain is located on the west side of Chattanooga and you have the Georgia Tennessee state line that runs right through it. So one part of the mountain is in Tennessee and then the southern part is in Georgia. And an interesting thing about Lookout Mountain, so there's an attraction there called Rock City, it's where Ruby Falls is. They claim that you can see seven different states from the top, which I'm very skeptical about. I highly doubt that's true, but they claim that you can see Tennessee, Georgia, Kentucky, Virginia, South Carolina, North Carolina, and Virginia. It's about a 26 minute drive time from Lookout Mountain to downtown Chattanooga. We're gonna use the Tennessee Aquarium and like the River Park as the point of interest in downtown. So it's a 26 minute drive from there. The median home price in Lookout Mountain is a lot higher than the average home price in other neighborhoods around Chattanooga. So it's at $894,000 which is actually a lot higher than the median home price of literally any other neighborhood in Chattanooga. It's definitely the most expensive, but for a reason. Lookout Mountain is definitely a very, very charming place and you're on top of the mountain, so you have beautiful views. You're limited with a number of shopping and restaurants and that type of thing, but remember you're on top of the mountain, so that's always just gonna be a little bit more expensive. When it comes to restaurants, you have places like Starbucks and the Mapco Market for breakfast and then you have Canopy Coffee and a place called the Wine Bar as well. For lunch, you can go to Rock City Grill or Cafe 7 and then you also have the Mountain Market. And for dinner, Cafe at the Corner. For Parks and Recreation, you have the Commons area, you have Point Park and you have Carter Field. Something that a lot of my real estate clients find important is the location proximity to certain healthcare facilities, right? The most prominent healthcare asset that you have in Lookout Mountain is Erlanger Primary Care. For schools, you have Lookout Mountain School and you have Fairyland Elementary School. And neighborhood number two is another mountain and it's located just north of Lookout Mountain and that is Signal Mountain. Signal Mountain is located in the northwestern part of Chattanooga and you have the Tennessee River just to the south of it and it's about a 14 minute drive to downtown. The median home price is significantly lower than Lookout Mountain at $534,000. A few prominent stores in the shopping category include Threads which is like a personalized boutique for like thoughtful gifts. They have a place called Mountaintop Toys which is very very popular during the holidays apparently. It's a good place to get like little toys or little gifts for your husband or wife or kids. And you also have a place called Accents, which I think is like a TJ Maxx, uh, where you can have like clothing, home decor, gifts, just a bunch of random stuff essentially. A few prominent restaurants include Mayfly Coffee, Southern Star, and El Metate, if you like Mexican. I love Mexican. You can never go wrong with Mexican in my opinion. For Parks and Rec, you have Town Hall Fields, so like baseball fields, soccer fields, you have a public pool at Town Hall, and then you also have Town Hall Gymnasium. So there are a few options there. As far as healthcare assets go, you have more options than Lookout Mountain with two small satellite offices of the two largest Chattanooga hospitals, Erlanger and CHI Memorial. And you, then you also have a walk-in clinic, CVS. When it comes to schools, you have Knoll Elementary, you have Thrasher Elementary, you have Signal Mountain Christian School, and you have Signal Mountain High School as well. And then right across the highway from Signal Mountain, you have neighborhood number three, which is Red Bank. Red Bank is located about 10 minutes north of downtown. Now the median home price for Red Bank is lower at 325,000, so we're consistently getting lower as we go down the list. When it comes to shopping, you have places like Red Bank City Park, Food City, and you also have small shops, small unique shops uh, for more niche things, like a place called The Battery where you can find like ballet goods, which is interesting. And you also have a place that's called Dirty Jane's Antiques, which sells like really cool vintage antiques. When it comes to restaurants, we have Bread and Butter, Dub's Place, and Shuford Smokehouse. So very, very Southern options over here. 
Parks and Rec, we have a lot more options. We have Red Bend Community Center, Morrison Springs Park and Dixie Youth Baseball Swimming Pool, Norma Cable Park for Youth Girls Softball, White Oak Park, Kids Corner Park, and Town Center Park. So a lot more options over there. And healthcare assets, we have Erlanger North Hospital. And just north of Red Bank, we have neighborhood number four, Hickson. Now, Hickson, Tennessee is located northeast of Signal Mountain and just north of Red Bank, and it's about a 15 minute drive to downtown Chattanooga. Median home price for Hickson is $360,000. So when it comes to shopping, you have the Northgate Mall, you have Target and Walmart at Oak Park Town Center and you have Academy Sports and Outdoors. Those are the most prominent ones. So something that I will mention is Northgate Mall isn't a very good mall when you think of like a shopping mall. That's not the main one here in Chattanooga. The main one is Hamilton Place Mall and that's located in the neighborhood called Hamilton, which is about a 15, 20 minute drive south from Hickson, Tennessee. For restaurant options, you have the Southern Restaurant, you have the Rib and Loin, and you have Ichiban Steakhouse. I've heard Ichiban is pretty good. Parks and Rec, you have a few options. You have Greenway Farms, Chester Frost Park, uh, Vandergriff Park, Chickamauga Dam, and Valley Brook Golf Course. For healthcare assets, we have CHI Memorial Hickson, which is actually recognized as one of the top 100 hospitals in America for pulmonary care. And for schools, we have Hickson High School, Hickson and Loftus Middle Schools, Big Ridge, DuPont, Hickson, Gans Middle Valley, and McConnell Elementary Schools. And now we're driving directly opposite from these places. Now we're going east to our last neighborhood, number five, Udawa. Udawa is about a 30 minute drive to downtown when you're thinking of Cambridge Square as the city center of Udawa. The median home price for Udawa is $455,000, which is a little bit higher than the average home price in Chattanooga. When it comes to shopping, the most prominent place is Cambridge Square. Cambridge Square is considered like the downtown of Udawa, and it has a bunch of charming uh, locally owned restaurants and retailers, and it's actually a really cool place to hang out. One of my favorite restaurants there is 1885. Every time I go there, it's like, it, it never fails. And two things I'll mention as well is a place called Wired, which is a coffee shop. A lot of people go there to study or to get some work done. It's a cute little coffee shop there in Udawa, and then you also have a place called Dos Bros. It's my favorite place. It's like. It's like Chipotle, but Chattanooga's version of Chipotle, and in my opinion, it's better than Chipotle. It's more consistent than Chipotle anyways. When it comes to park and recreation, we have Tucker Road Recreational Area, the Honors Course, Wolf Teaver Creek Greenway, White Oak Mountain Trails, and the Biology Trails located at Southern Adventist University. Healthcare assets, you have CHI Memorial Family Practice Associates, and schools, you have Udawa Elementary School, you have Wolf Teaver Creek Elementary, Udawa Middle School, East Hamilton Middle School, and Udawa High School. And that is the video, guys. I hope you found the information in this video helpful. Again, I am a realtor here in Chattanooga, so if you're a local and you're wanting to sell your house and move into a new house, or you're moving from abroad and you're looking to find a home here in Chattanooga, feel free to contact me in any of the ways down below. I am happy to help. Until next time, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.